my, 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 my. I loves me some Thanksgiving. You hear what I say? That's exactly why I've been fasting since Tuesday. Cause see, I don't want no hindrances to my indulgences. Cause I'm about to gain at least 10 pounds and a few more inches. Stayed up all last night to help mama finish up the cooking. Took a quick cat nap, got up, got the table looking good. Repenting in advance for my gluttony cause I know I'm going to eat more than I should. I'm ready, the table's set, and this food about to go. But not before we say grace. Uh oh, here comes second cousin Joe. You see, he just got ordained deacon down at Holy Church on the hillside of Mount Hermon. So I know he about to turn this grace into a Sunday sermon. Oh, but for the saving voice of Grandpa Jeff. From the end of the table, I just heard, Joy, you know the shortest verse in the Bible is Jesus wept. So old Joe caught the hint, said a quick prayer, and then amen. Hallelujah, Jesus, let the festivities begin. Uh Uh-uh, Lil' Keith. Don't you pack no plate before everybody done got their food? Well, I tell you something, my folks ain't got no home training. They just downright rude. But I can't wait to get some of that honey-baked ham, rotisserie chicken, and Aunt Liz's famous pot roast. But Thanksgiving just ain't Thanksgiving without the star of the show, Mr. Turkey himself. I don't care whether he oven roasted, barbecued, or fried, just as long as I got some gravy and some cranberry sauce on the side. But I don't care much for that homemade kind. I prefer the one you got to shimmy out the can with them perfect slicing lines. Corn on the cob, green beans, black eyed peas, and collard greens. Mashed potatoes, candy yams, tater salad, and macaroni and cheese. Stuffing, homemade biscuits, dinner rolls, and jiffy cornbread. Yellow rice, white rice, rice and peas, and depending on your level of religion, either deviled or blessed eggs. And if that's not enough, maybe even some macaroni or pasta salad. And you know we can always count on the Weight Watcher to bring the fresh fruit and garden salad. As if that's not a direct violation of unofficial Turkey Day rules. Section 2.1.1 clearly states, no healthy foods. And after I eat all that, you know I'm going to be nice, happy, and fat. But that's when the fun begins. As the itis and the delirium start to set in, then the stories from years back start up. If you thought we was going to forget about what happened 10 years ago, oh, good luck. Grandma's narcolepsy done kicked in, waking up in the middle of every story talking about, I ain't sleeping. Uncle June done snuck out back and got some of his drink. Now he's sliding down the walls and got poor Aunt May, so shame. And here come Cousin James, asking about who want to get a space game. Now I know it's going to be a long night, and I hope don't nobody renege because I don't feel like breaking up no fights. With the laughter of a happy family ricocheting off every wall, slowly, one by one, the kids fighting sleep start to fall. The football games have come and gone. And Lil' Key finally got that plate to take home. Well, we ate, we laughed, we argued and fought, but all in love. As everyone kissed and made up, and nobody left without a hug. As I lay back, relax, and reflect over today's events, my mind wanders and my thoughts ponder the joys of heaven. A place where everything stops and rejoicing begins, Whenever one lost soul enters in, much the same as earlier this afternoon when each member of my family came in. And I gain an insight into God's love for everyone in this world, not just in my life. Then he impresses upon me the importance of being the salt and the light. If I could just take in his word with the same fervor as I had all of those delicacies, If I could love strangers and enemies despite their flaws as I do with those closest to me. If I could so easily share the attacks and insults as I do the jokes with me as the butt. If I could just learn to nourish and nurture my spirit man more than my gut. Oh, then the joy, happiness, and contentment I feel right now will be never ending. And I would love every day the same as today, knowing that I have a reason for loving and not just for living. Happy Thanksgiving. 